All right, Xin Yin Hui La. This year, 2019, is the year to just be strong, lean, mean, and in charge of your life. So I want to start off by saying Xin Yin Hui La, Gong Xi Ban Kai, which means like a congratulations, you beat the monster. And there's a whole Chinese story behind behind Chinese New Year's. And maybe I'll drop me a line or drop me a comment and maybe I'll share it with you, okay? Uh, tonight, I am going to talk about eating. We all know that in life, hard times come. And whether it's like a like a death in the family, or uh, you know, you had an accident or an injury, you know, it's it just like, or like a million things all just piling up and you're overwhelmed, you need to take a break, you know? I'm not so incompassionate, even though I'm really fiery in some of my videos, that I don't have like zero compassion when you do need to take a break and some self-care okay so the one thing that i really want to stress that is going to save you is your eating now back in my early 30s when i first started uh the, my track to health and wellness uh one thing i did was i just started really simple i did not want to get overwhelmed or get really disappointed if like i wasn't getting results and so I just simply started with eating right, okay? I gave myself like a good two and a half, three weeks just for my body to adjust because, you know, those, uh, that's a, you know, when you deplete your body and you go like clean off of sugar and, you know, you take out all the garbage and, you know, you don't want to do all that kind of stuff all at once because it's, it's too much of a shock. Okay, and then you have a tendency to like turn around and binge. Okay, so um, I'm going to open up my little black book. And so just so everyone knows, a uh, disclaimer real quick that I am not a spokesperson for this program. In fact, this program is not even really around anymore, which is why I want to share with you as much detail as I can. Um, you know, because you can't even find this online. You can't, you know, you do a search and you're not going to find the All American Six Week Slim Down. They've, and they've changed the formula over the years so many times that I don't know, I just feel like it's probably not as effective, but hey, that's just me. So, anyways, when you first do the Michael Thurman Six Week Slim Down, and remember, I'm not a spokesperson, this was just the one program that doesn't use any pills, shakes, there's no prepackaged meals like other companies. This is you going to the grocery store, you buying the food and you eating the foods that your particular chemical makeup, your, your blueprint tells you is gonna help you to burn the most fat, okay? And so however much you wanna stray from that, that's and how much you wanna slow down your results, that's completely up to you, okay? So um, you start off by blueprinting. And yeah, this is what my body used to look like, man. You're talking, you know, a little bit of belly, a little bit of butt, some thighs, you know, no thigh gap. Yeah, that was me. And I'm not saying that I'm perfect now. You know, I mean, hey, I'm 48, um, you know, but I feel like I look pretty dang good for my age. And, you know, considering that I'm starting to go down the rabbit hole of menopause and I'm starting to see little changes. So... What they do is they ask you some very scientific questions like when you first get up in the morning, are you just starving or does it take you like a long time to like 10 o'clock before you even feel hungry? These kinds of things matter. And so they found that there are certain people with certain metabolic or metabolism types that food is going to affect you in a, in a certain way, okay? So they have made a, what is called a fast track guide okay now when you become a patreon member I have copies of these um, if you know for a small donation if you want to see a copy of you know what this looks like I'm not selling it or anything because that could really get you in trouble but um, you know if, if you know you want you want copies of these you know really 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 bad or whatever you think it's for you you know just just message me drop me a comment well I'll work something out okay so Anyways, you fall into either A, B, C, or D. You know, these, these body type categories. Bs are the most common. So I went back and I took that blueprinting quiz over and over, answering the questions that completely polar opposite, blah, blah. And you know what? I still, no matter what I did, I was a body type B. So body type Bs, we can put on weight if we're lazy, 
but we could also take it off rather easily as well. So we're that happy medium, which oddly enough makes sense because I am a Libra. I've always been sort of in the right, right in the happy middle. You know, of course, to me as a kid growing up, I thought that was ordinary. I wanted to be special. You know, I want to stand out, be the the top A in the class, or the most artistic, or whatever. Now I realize that when it comes to career and job and things of that nature. Being the happy middle is really where you want to be because you slip under the boss's radar. They don't notice you when they're out to fire somebody. And, you know, you also get along well with everyone and everybody usually likes you. One, one job, I got there about a week before Christmas and it was the Christmas company party. I didn't even really meet anybody yet. I'd only been there, like, been there maybe a day. Everybody, and then like, as soon as I walked in the room, everybody just started fighting about who I was gonna sit next to. I, I guess they all heard about me and my skills or whatever. So, you know, for those of you that are like those middle type people, be happy. It's a good thing, you know? And on a side note, you know, your mental and your emotional well-being affects the body. Mind-body connection, friendly reminder. So, I am a body type B. And there is a list of foods that is the best for uh, your body. So what I want to do is I want to just briefly kind of gloss over the eating plan. So for breakfast, um, according to, you know, you can have like an easy quick breakfast, then you can have a, a gourmet breakfast, and then you can have just like a rapid results, bare bones, don't got time to eat, and but you don't want to do pills, shakes, or any garbage crap. So I'm going to start with the rapid results if you think you can handle it. And so for me, I can't even eat this much. I mean, they give you way more than you can handle, which is great because I love food. <laughs> I love to eat. So um, the rapid results breakfast is actually three egg whites, um, one cup of greens, like, you know, fill up a cup of, you know, like salad, celery, you know, bok choy, um, you know, leafy greens, or you can have half, a whole half of a grapefruit. And grapefruits are pretty big, okay? Um, if you want to do the gourmet breakfast, you can do a spring omelet, um, which like has mushrooms, green peppers, onions, uh, fresh basil, you know, mix veggies in, you know, just like a, a regular omelet without the egg yolk. It's, a, it's an egg white omelet. And let me tell you, you don't even miss it. You don't miss the egg yolk. You know, and I used to be one of those sunny side up, you know, love the egg yolk running all over, you know, my toast, you know, sopping it up. Yeah, I mean, and now I look back and I realize I thought it, what I thought was healthy was not healthy at all. Grilled cheese, peanut butter, oh my God, so unhealthy. <laughs> but the easy breakfast, sort of the middle of the road one, this is pretty much what I do. I have one or two egg whites with a half a piece of fruit. So I'll have a half of an apple or a quarter of an apple. But if I wanna, sometimes I alternate between all of these and I mix it up. And that's a, real, a major key point I wanna make to you guys is that you cannot stay the same and expect to keep losing weight. So you have to mix up your eating plan. One or two days a week, I want you to have the rapid results. One or two days a week, go ahead and have that gourmet breakfast um, if you have time for that. Um, and so some of the other things that you can have besides just egg whites is uh, you can have two ounces of protein A and a half a cup of fruit A or two ounces of protein B and only a fourth a cup of fruit B. Certain fruits have certain amounts of sugars and you have to really watch that with this plan. But the thing that I love about this plan is that there's no cheating. It's you're using food to make your body, you know, lose weight. And I've been doing it for years and I have not had any adverse effects. My adrenal glands have not burned out. It's not been taxing my kidneys, my liver, my pancreas. I have not had any health issues because this is 100% food, natural. No pills, no shakes, no cheese of any kind. Not that I'm judging people to do that. You know, I'm sure in my 50s when I get older and my hormones are all out of whack, I'm probably gonna need some of that then. I'm too young for that now, ha <laughs> um, ha You know, in your 30s and your 20s, I don't wanna even hear it. There, I just don't feel it's excusable unless you are a fitness teacher and you have to do two classes back to back and then they expect you to do two more that night. Yeah, I totally get that. You need a shake or something, okay? But you know, cheating just to cheat, just to look good because you want man arms or whatever, I don't respect that. I just, sorry, don't. Um, so 
the the two ounces of protein A. Let's let's look that up. Okay. And so I mean I pretty much have it memorized, but just in case I miss something here, um, you can have uh, some fish, chicken, and turkey. The main thing for body type Bs, which is what most women fall into, is you, to just try to stay away from red meats, even really super lean cuts. And pork is an absolute no-go. Just like, you know, it gives you the worst gas anyways. It just rots in your system. It's really gross. And so, you know, red meat likes to sort of hang around and pollute the system. It's just easier to digest chicken, turkey, and fish. So, like, I'll have, um, like some, and not, not none of that Vandy Camp's breaded white cod fillets, come on. Eat your fish normal. Um, you can have, and, and I never eat a piece of protein any bigger than the palm of my hand. In fact, I do like maybe this much, like almost half. And you know, the great thing about this plan is that you try to get your breakfast in by 7.30, 8 o'clock at the latest. You turn around at 10 o'clock and have another breakfast. So before you feel like you're starving to death, um, you get to eat again, so it's really good, it's cohesive. So let's move on to lunch. So you wanna do your same, uh, you know, have two breakfasts and you can change it up, turkey, chicken, fish, whatever you wanna do. Just remember two ounces of the protein and like a half a cup of fruit A and half or a fourth a cup of fruit B. And so, like I said, message me if you need a copy of this stuff cause it's gonna just take too long to go through the video. So what, by the time it's lunchtime, okay, basically all that you're doing is you're taking out the fruit, you're adding in a little bit of vegetable, and so instead of a half a cup of fruit, you're having a half a, a, half a cup of um, carb, carb A or B, and one whole cup of vegetables. Because, you know, vegetables don't even have nearly as much sugar, and you think, well, but like, if it's all about the sugar, then why don't I just eat breakfast all day? Well, there's a good reason. Certain vitamins and minerals and nutrients are found in vegetables that you're not gonna get in fruit. And that's why it's important to have a whole cup of veggies. And so on this plan, veggie A is pretty much the only vegetables listed, which almost every single, um, let me just get it out here, almost every single kind of vegetable is a vegetable A. So let's go over, let's just quickly go over some of the vegetables. Artichokes asparagus, beets, bell peppers, bok choy, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, carrots, cauliflower, celery, and I love salad, cucumbers, eggplant, I love eggplant, but watch that hoisin sauce full of sugar, and eggplant, it naturally tastes sweet, so you know there's some sugar in there, so watch, kind of watch that one. Green beans too, that's another one, kind of watch that. Um, any kind of greens like mustard, collard greens, turnips, um, uh, Brussels sprouts, lettuce of course, mushrooms, you can have mushrooms, snow peas, I love snow peas, but um, a lot of people make the mistake of dipping those in ranch dressing, so just a side note, this plan does not allow for any kind of dip or salad dressing. So what I do is I make my own with a base of soy sauce, vinegar, water, and like um, some lemon juice. And I put a lot of Italian herbs in it. And I, I don't feel deprived. I didn't jump off a cliff. I didn't, I, you know, I don't have like a problem, you know, going off the rails as far as like eating garbage and binging, you know. Uh, okay, so more sprouts, like bean sprouts. Summer squash, zucchini, yellow squash, love that stuff. Um, tomatoes. These are all the types of vegetables that you can have on this plan. Okay, so let's go. Let's go back. Okay, so we've got lunch covered. So let's move on to dinner. Oh, and so um, wait, let me talk about the carbohydrates. Usually, I mean, there's just not a lot of carbs out there, uh, especially for those that are gluten intolerant. So um, stay away from oatmeal if you can, even though there's some oatmeal that is considered gluten safe, whatever. I found that it's best just to, you know, really limit that. Uh, but you know, if you have no problem with gluten and wheat or any of that stuff, any grains at all, then you know, 
oatmeal is listed on the list of carbs. You can have oatmeal, um, brown rice, white rice, and I do a mixture of both so I don't feel deprived, you know. Um, but I, I try to not have just straight sticky white rice, okay? I try to make it a little healthy. And you can get some fabulous, awesome rices, uh, red rice, brown rice, green bamboo rice, all kinds of nifty rices if you, if you have an Asian market, okay? And yams, potatoes, just no butter, okay? Don't leave the butter out, use butter buds. You'll eventually taper off and you'll think, yeah, you know, it's such a hassle to make that stuff. I don't really need it. I just want to chug the food down so I can go get on to other things. Life is too exciting to be obsessing about whether your food tastes good or not. Potatoes, there's like a thousand kinds of potatoes out there and there are tons and tons of different kinds of rices. There's even like a lot of like new and upcoming grains that aren't really talked about in this program that I've found that aren't a big deal, like tabole. Tabole is a great grain. Um, couscous is a little on starchy, so maybe like with some brown rice, just kind of like moderate it. Okay, quinoa, um, you just gotta keep an eye on how many inches, you know, if things are starting to get like a little tight, maybe it's that quinoa, you know. Your pants are starting to cut back into you, you know, you feel like your arms getting a little too flabby. Just, just, you know, you know, self, always be self-aware, self-monitor, and keep in mind that like if you're a woman and it's girly time, you might just be retaining some water, so keep that in mind also. There's just like a thousand different things that can all have an influence, okay? So, yams, rice, are like your all safe, you know, and potatoes are like your all safe carb. Okay, sometimes I even do this new thing, it's like called carb cycling but you gotta be really careful with that, and that's a whole nother video for another time, okay? So at three o'clock, you're gonna wanna have another little mini meal, another little lunch, because that's right about the time where you're sitting in the office and you just wanna reach for that candy bar, or you wanna reach for that <laughs> protein bar. Don't. Okay, have a whole meal. Use real food. I just can't stress it enough. It's just, it's more, so satisfying too to just munch on food. It, uh, shakes and, you know, by the time you eat that little protein bar, and it's like, oh my God, it's already gone. I just don't feel like mentally satisfied eating that stuff, I don't know. Maybe I'm just like really undisciplined, <laughs> I don't know. All right, so you wanna do the same thing um, for your mid-afternoon snack, except um, I don't think you have any vegetables. You cut the vegetables for that particular one meal, and you just have the protein and the half a cup of carbs. Okay, but lunchtime, yeah, you want a whole cup of vegetables. But I think, you know, for your mid-afternoon, your 3 o'clock p.m. meal, um, you, you, don't, you don't have, you know, a whole lot of vegetables. Um, so it's up to you. You know, I would alternate, you know, I've... I've you know, I've done it, you know, I just kind of forget, you get busy, you forget, and it's not affected my weight loss any, but I just noticed there's a big blank on the page here, and I'm like, oh, I've been doing this for all these years, and I haven't followed the plan quite right. Um, well, whatever, I still got away with it. <laughs> so, if you want those veggies, have them. Dinner time. Okay, so dinner time, um, same thing, only dinner you can have like one to two ounces of protein C, C. And that's where like the red meats and the pork and stuff uh, come in. But um, let, me, let me, just just to be safe. Don't wanna mislead you here. Let's see, yeah, pork chop. That's, uh, that's a, but you know what, there's, um, there's also uh, D. Um, protein protein part D and if you are a body type B you don't get any protein D that's strange because I just told you to eat fish and um, well all the all these years I've been having like tuna sometimes instead of an egg white for breakfast I'll have some tuna but um, uh, you, you know you can have uh, yeah you shouldn't be have supposedly you know poke and that kind of fish. Let me just see something really, really quick. I know it seems like she doesn't know what she's talking about, and that's just because I've always looked at the book. Um, but, oh yeah, scallops, yeah, tuna. Okay, all that is in um, the pro 
protein category A or B, which is what you're supposed to have. Okay, so you can have even crab and lobster, but you know, and the fatty thing about that is when people be are dipping it in butter and stuff. Okay, scallops, turkey breast, um, that's another protein that you can have. Egg whites, of course, we have that for, oh yeah, and fish, delicate fish, cod, flounder, haddock, orange, ruffy, red snapper. Um, I have tuna, you know, just, yeah, and here it is, tuna. And of course, it should be like wild caught tuna. Fish steak, like halibut, mahi-mahi, tuna, shark. One thing I did notice, though, is that um, they, salmon, which I love, is not listed, but I still have it once in a while. You know, I mean, I'm sorry, you gotta cut yourself some slack, right? <laughs> chicken breast, uh, chicken breast home style, like barbecued chicken with, you know, watch that sauce. Um, chicken cacciatore, whatever the heck that is. Crab, lobster, scallops. Okay, but you get the idea. So let's get into the protein type C. Now it says one to two ounces, so don't do a full two ounces of protein type C, because remember what I said earlier, is um you know like that stuff sits in your system okay and uh, it's also more way more fattening and if you just want to get really slender and you don't want to bulk up and get big like man arms and whatever then stay away from the 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 red meat okay but be uh beef um like eye of round beef um roast beef um you can have like a little lean a very it says lean pork chop here okay um, pork, a lean tenderloin, you know, not a lot of fat, but yeah, like, um, uh, certain, certain fishes and tofu, that's like a, a protein type D and it's like, we're not supposed to have that. And I know a lot of people that, you know, they have D uh, and like milk products, like yogurt, low fat cheese, cottage cheeses. Uh, uh, that's a no go for us. Lamb and veal. We're not supposed to have that either. Ah, but you know what? If it's a cheat day, I say go all out. And you know what? If it's a cheat day, you can have a piece of chocolate cake for all I care. It's your cheat day. So, like, you know, you want to eat the, the eat the fat. Eat the rich stuff. Okay, do the, the body type Ds. So, like, um, so that's your dinner, okay? And, you know, you only there's only so many millions of carbs in the world, and it's the same carbs, same vegetables listed here. So, my my advice is to just play back this video over and over and then you go on my facebook become a follower and you will probably see the photos for um the eating you know the, this is list the, the all the different types of foods that you can have and um the the fast track cards okay that tell you exactly how much of each and i've never been the type that has ever used a scale um i've never done that and you know just uh, it's hassle it's a hassle you know I got better things to do so I'm not gonna go measuring out like well, how much is an ounce you know if you want to look it up online like how many cups to ounces ratio not I believe one cup is like 16 ounces or something like that anyways um, you know google it if you want to if you want to be really strict about this but I just say you know, eat smaller meals more often and keep the protein, you know, within the inside of your hand here. And hey, I did it. I and um, I didn't. I lost super a lot of weight um, in my 30s. I got all the way back down. I lost all the weight that I wanted to in eight weeks. Um, you know, I did it like extra two weeks. Okay, even though this is like the six week slim down plan. And then in my 40s. I lost even more, even though I was older and probably more hormonal, you know? Uh, and I did this like in, I guess 44, so like 44, 45, I did this in my mid 40s. So, um, you know, and I lost even more weight. I got like way more powerful this time around, which is, uh, I wasn't expecting that. So that's really cool. So drop your comments down below, your questions if you have any. I'll go over it again as many times as need be because I care for you. And if you want to, um, if you want to look this up, make sure I don't drop anything here. Let me get this out. Okay, I'm gonna give you like a close up here. You can see this. Okay, this was this back when Michael Thurman was alive. He, um, you know, R.I.P. Michael Thurman. Love you. Um, he dropped, died in a car accident and um, he's no longer with us. 
but you know he worked hand in hand with a scientific company called Provita and that's how between his exercise program and you know his opinion on what was good to eat and having the laboratory science to back up his findings they came up with this all-american six-week slim down by Provita labs so I mean you can try searching the internet it's very super hard to find this these days and like and not every program works for everybody okay so we all have different body types so I wish you luck in your health and wellness uh, plan but you know above all common sense common sense of just eating right and exercising so if there ever comes a time where you know you you get yourself hurt or you can't like you can't make it to the gym you know as long as you are eating right um, and not eating well eating well means that you probably like eating too much eating well is a very you know misconstrued word and so but I'm eating well no honey you have to eat right okay you have to eat proper correct okay so just to make that crystal clear you have to eat right eating well heck i could eat well yeah oh yeah i can eat well i can have pork and all kinds of garbage you know um but you need to eat right and so um drop again drop me your questions and i'll just quit babbling at this point um so i i wish you luck and namaste thank you